Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Fitzroy and you are watching Silver Pressed Shekels. It's a new year, but my mission remains the same and it's primarily all about the Moonlight Medal, accumulating more silver coins and rounds. But before I delve into my budding coin collection, I'd like to share two items of mine that may be of interest. This is something I started collecting years ago. Uh, title of it is, um, I think it's mightly relevant to the coin issue here because it's uh, the golden age, you know, of pirate ships, you know, and it's like, you know, gold and silver, you know, uh, banknotes. The one thing I wish, though, that I had completed the um, actual series. This is like a, this. Um, these are more incomplete, but these are the ones that I have. And I came across them visiting my mom. So I thought I would share it with the community to see what you guys think. I am not sure if there's any collector value to it. I'll look into that later. When I get the chance to, but I guess just want to share with the community since I'm pretty much a new entrant here on YouTube. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. Like you can see, this is the title: the world's first gold and silver banknotes, the saga of treasure ships and pirates. I believe this is um nine that I end up collecting before I cancelled and those days when I was used to be in debt <laughs> so here we go this one is the um, Captain Thomas Cocklin the Bird Galley this one is very beautiful they're actually very beautiful hope you guys could see it clearly very beautiful notes you know and every time I look at them I wish I'd collect the series because there was what there was actually one that the final would be spectacular. But anyway, this is the first, I think the first of nine. Um, excuse me. This is the second, which is Blackbeard's Queen's Anne's Revenge. This is a very beautiful one here. And these remind me of some of the coins that I saw on um I think it's Coin Mart, I believe. I'm still trying to get used to all the names relating to coin collecting. But these are totally beautiful. I am not sure, like I said, if they have any collector's value. But I'll look into that later. After I get the time to. Okay, and this is their, is it pronounced it? Bartholomew Roberts Royal Fortune. And this is another beauty. If anyone's in the community they think these are of any values, please leave me a note. And also, if they have any value, and when I do get used to uploading more stuff to YouTube, and um, maybe I could offer some of these as gar, you know? I, I'm not um, too linked to them where I can't depart with them, so... See, I believe they're um, removable here if you want to remove them. So it's not too much of a problem. So this could be a nice gawk collection for someone. Future prospect, I guess. All right, let me continue. I don't want to hold up, take up much more of your time. So here we go. This is Charles Vane's Ship Challenge, HMS Buck. Most of these names I got to look up because since all the years I have these, I haven't really doing the research on them I usually since I always loved silver I took the step to collect them in those days but like you can see they're very beautiful okay wow okay this is Steed Bonnets Slope Royal James hmm? this one is new to me as well Wow, but they are beautiful, though. 
official legal tender of Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. Bonito de Soto and the Black Joke. Hmm. I should make something here, one of these coins, or I'll definitely collect. Just imagine if they could make bars. Silver bar looked just like this. I would have jumped on them in a minute. That's how awesome they look. Wow. This is simply marvelous. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time creating a lengthy video since I pretty much know this thing. So please excuse me, guys and ladies. If my video quality is not so great, I'm pretty much new at this. Okay, so please, if you have any ideas or comments to help a newbie um, improve his channel, please advise to be much appreciated. Wow, but let me continue. And I believe this is the last before I end the series. And... It is indeed beautiful. This one is Sir Francis Drake and the Golden Hind. This is another beautiful one as well. Wow. Like I said before, I wish I'd collect and um, continue the series. It would be very awesome to have a completed set at this time. Okay. Okay, this is not actually the last, but um, the last one is coming here, which is the Captain Edward England and the Cassandra. Hmm. This one is beautiful too. They are all, they are all beautiful. They are all beautiful. Wow. Anyway, guys. Let me know what you think of these. Um, like I said, I'll do a little research to see if they have any collectible values. And maybe I could offer them in a future gar if anyone will be interested. Okay. All right, so I'll continue. I guess this is the last. I will continue with my second item, which is... Oh, these are beautiful. And that's that for this first blessed. And this is the second I want to share with you guys. I am a Star Trek fan. I wouldn't consider myself a Trekkie, but I am indeed a fan. The only thing as far as Star Trek TV series I haven't actually seen, yeah, I believe it's the one that's called uh, Discover. I believe that's on CBS. I'm not sure correctly. I am not too fond of um, these streaming services. I guess if they were on TV, I probably would have checked it out by now. But to be honest, I don't have a TV. It's been years <laughs> since I literally owned a TV. But anyway, let me pa unpack this so you guys can see it better. And this is the gold ship of the, um, the Enterprise. I think it's 1701D. This is the Picard Galaxy class ship. This is a beauty, isn't it? Whoa. Okay, let me take it out of the plastic here. This is a beaut. Okay, and this is the um this is the original certificate of authenticity. USS Enterprise. NCC 1701D. They said it's all gold plated, sculptured, traded card. I have a few other cards, you know, from Deep Space Nine and some others in the series as well, but this is the only one that stands out as far as gold is concerned. I'm not sure if it's actually gold, but that's what they say. Hope you guys could see this clearly. This is a beaut. And I will actually offer this as well. If anyone will be interested in it as a future gar, you know, it's beautiful. My future plans doesn't involve much of these things other than with the coins. 
and so forth. But this is a beauty, I think it is. Well, let me know, guys, if you guys like these. Or if you have any comments, ideas. Oh, this is the back area. It reads, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Beautiful. It, it used to be where no man has gone before. But I guess we in a new age now where we have to be, uh, what the word they use? Politically correct. No man, including women these days. So that is the society we are living in now, I guess. Not complaining, just rolling with the punches. But anyway, this is what I had to share with the community. So let me let me know what you think, guys and ladies. Okay, and I am just gonna share a little bit of my um, personal coins, which I started collecting. Like I said before, I'm pretty much a newbie as far as coin collecting is concerned. And I, um, I have a few coins I started collecting from um, last year. I started actually collecting since, um, I believe, March, mid-March. And i um been continuing ever since. And um, where is it? To be honest, one of the coins that actually surprised me the most is the um hold a second please i gotta try to find my my lovely pocket coin here one second please the coin that surprised me the most is this you all recognize what this is the american silver eagle i never thought i would ac i would literally like this coin and the what should I say? The diameter? I have collected other, uh, what should I say? Other um, bullion coins. And I think I gravitate towards this the most. And this is my, actually, this is my daily, my daily um, coin. I bring around with me everywhere I go since the day I bought it in March of last year. So this is the, um, this one is the, should I say it's um yeah 2006 and the reason why I'm sharing these things because um these are empty packets here I am planning to focus on this year in 2020 I am planning on reef uh stacking a whole lot of these for 2020 and I will also be continuing with some of the ones from the um uh, 2019 as well because I started with a few of those that I left at home. So those will be something I can continue collecting going forward. And some of the other ones that I found, I found much interest in are those um, they're called Sunshine Mint, the regular generic uh, silvers. And um, those I'm going to continue collecting as well this year as well. And um, these are some other ones I have which I started collecting last year as well. Some of my favorites. These are the ones I think, um, what they call these um, fractionals. I like these as well. These are like beautiful, you know, these are the um, American Eagles fractionals. Didn't thought they would look so beautiful in person, but the internet doesn't do justice to coins, I believe, I guess, right? But anyway, I'm going to try to show as much as I can. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Since I'm very much new to these, um, uploading takes a lot of time, folks. And these are some of the ones that I've been collecting, which I liked a lot. And um, this is another bullion coin that I actually love, too. I love the, the Incuse. Um, Indian Indian um, nickels. I love these. I love the incus design. Very beautiful. And this is just, I think, a um, uh, fractional half, one half. So I'm going to continue collecting those in the um, one ounces. And um, 
These are uh, the Canada Maple Leaf. You guys recognize this because I've been following a lot of channels here on um, YouTube. You know, like, you know, Salivate Metal. I've been following him. A whole lot. Blue Ridge. You know, some of those. I've been, I've been following for, for months, trying to learn as much as I can before I start this channel. But anyway, let me show as much as I can. I don't want to extend this video for too long. Since uploading this, it takes a, a bit of a time. This is a um, fractional I ordered from, I think was um, Crate, I believe. Crate something I ordered a long time ago. I didn't expect to get something this tiny. Probably end up losing it. <laughs> but anyway, um, these, are some, these are the ones I actually love. Which is the, um, what do you call it? The pandas, Chinese pandas. I love these. Start to collect those from day one as well. This is one of the 2019. I do collect pandas and such things. Uh, the kookaburra, I collect these as well. And I collect for myself and my son. So when I buy one, I buy one for him. So I duplicate orders every time. I wanted to start collecting now as a, a first step to save him. Especially for my community. We don't save too much. And I'm trying to... Uh, Kind of uh, train him from now to start to save, you know. So this is um the 2019. This is the um, the kookaburra from 2018, and this one is from um this is the 2019 kookaburra. Like I said, most of you guys probably recognize these already, but you know, I don't mind sharing, you know. So and I hope to share a lot more in the coming weeks and months. And this one is. This one is Kookaburra. I believe this is 2017 as well. I have given my son a lot of coins. So hopefully he doesn't try that. He's, he's just turned uh, 10 years old yesterday. And I actually bought this one. He was born in 2010. 20, um, so I met sure I bought this one from the day he was born. And his birthday, it's strange. His birthday was actually yesterday. And he turned 10 years old. So he born 2010, and 2020, he's 10 years old. So that is awesome, right? Okay. These are beautiful coins. I am going to continue, hopefully, in the next week or two, to continue more. And I have a surprise to show everyone. Something that I purchased, I didn't th thought I would have got my hand on one of those, even though it was... It was a bit stressful at first trying to get my hands on it, but I made it. Yeah, you know. So most of these I'm collecting now, I collect in to leave for my son. A bit of generational wealth, you know. Something to leave behind for him. And I hope he will start to learn. I will start to save from now. Uh, it's a lesson best learned early. And um, like I said, I hope to converse with most of you guys here and ladies and on the channel in the community to, sh to learn and share more with you guys. And um, I hope this was not too boring, I guess, because this is my first time. So... Um, uh, something else I want to say. Like I said, I collect. Personally, right now, I do collect coins for fun. You know, I I try not to make things into a job, you know. I don't want to make it into something boring. That is something I have to do. I want it to be something I want to do. I want to make it fun. And that's what I'm doing going forward. You know, life is very short. So you got to make the best of it. It's good to prepare for the future, but it's good to live into the now and enjoy life. But anyway, everyone, I hope this was of interest to you guys and hope you got some, some pointers to help me out. This is my second video. The first wasn't so, wasn't so much informative or so much talking. But anyway, I am going to let you guys go and try to work on my other video. And like I said, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, do what needs doing. 
when it needs to be done. And thanks again. Bye.